I recently took advantage of an excellent sale at Joann's where I picked up some really fun goodies that I've been eyeballing for a while. In this haul video, I'm going to show you what I got, so stay tuned. Welcome back to the Victoria Marie YouTube channel where I feature all things scrapbooking and craft related. If that's your jam, make sure you hit the subscribe button when you do click the bell indicator. That way you'll know each and every time a new video is posted. So let's jump right into this. I picked up several punch boards on this trip. This first one is a mini envelope punch board and you can use this to create tiny little envelopes that you can use for a variety of projects, traveler's notebooks, cards, scrapbook layouts. I thought that this would be really fun to use for a ton of projects. In fact, I can think of like 10 projects I can use this on right now. I also picked up the We Are Memory Keepers pocket punch board. This is something I've been eyeing for a while. And of course you can make your own pockets using this punch board for hidden journaling to hold tags and memorabilia. You can create them to put gift cards in and give them away as a part of a card. I mean, just all kinds of fun things that you can do making your own pocket envelopes. And I thought that was fantastic. Okay, next up, I got the three in one punch board. This is something I've been eyeballing for months and I finally got it. So you can make envelopes of various sizes as well as bows and gift boxes. It gives you a guide on the machine or on the punch board as well. All of these punch boards come with a bone folder, which is fantastic. It just slips right into the side. And then with this one, there is an app that you can use to determine what size project you need, like an envelope or box, depending on what you need it for. But of course you can do a variety of projects using this punch board. These punch boards are sold separately or you can get this three in one punch board. I also picked up the We Are Memory Keepers 3-in-1 weeding tool and with this tool you can do a couple of things, or actually three things. You can use it as a brush to brush out any of the inner parts of like say an intricate die cut. You can also use it as a scrape so you can pull up a die cut from its die and then you can use it as a piercer. So very fun functional tool. I love this tool because I can just take it on the go and I don't have to have three separate tools, I can just use this one tool. Right along, I picked up a couple of stamp sets. This first one is called Daisy and Bug Stamp and Cut. And of course it comes with a coordinating die, really beautiful images there with a the flower and butterflies. That's gonna be perfect for springtime cards and projects. This other one is inspired by my daughter. I just, when I saw it, I thought, oh, I have to pick this up. It's called Dress Up Stamp and Cut. It has a little girl and a little die where you can make a fluffy skirt. There's also a straight skirt there, an A-line skirt, very, very cute. Cannot wait to use those. All right, so let's start the Thickers Parade. I purchased a lot of Thickers because if you've been following me for a while, I have, <laughs> I love Thickers. I have like this fascination with Thickers and I use them on pretty much every project. So I'm showing you some of the, the Thickers that I picked up. These first two, um, I believe those might be from a Vicki Booten collection. Mm, maybe someone told me that they were, but I, I can't remember. Um, this next one is called Lovely. I like this particular set because it has large, text elements that you can use for a title. The same with this one, it's called Magical. I wanna say that might be from a Shamil Lane, but I'm not all that certain. Again, has that nice large text. This one's called Summertime. Beautiful sentiments and text for those summertime scrapbook projects. This one is called Groovy. Again, it has those large text pieces there. It's all chipboard. Um, wonderful to have a nice bold statement on a scrapbook project to use for titles and some other things. Next one's called Girl Power. When I saw this, I thought, you know, this would be perfect for scrapbooks. Pages that I do about my kiddo and myself. Nice little sayings there. This one's called Crayon Box. And I can think of about 10 different layouts. So I'm gonna probably use this on nice and colorful. Reminds me of my daughter's preschool days. Now this stamp set or this thicker set's called Happy Life. I probably have like 12 packs of these because I love them so much. A little tiny font, multicolor in the front and then it's gold foil in the back. Beautiful or it's more of a rose gold. This one's called Prismatic. I just love the colors on there. Very pretty. Up next is called Colorful, and I just like the design of the font on this one. It's very scripty. Again, nice and big. You can use them for titles um, and some other elements. I probably have about three of these. This one's called Fancy. It is the turquoise uh, glitter on the front, the silver glitter on the back. And you know what? It doesn't hurt to have another pack. I know I'm going to use them, so why not? This last one is called Catherine. I love the mix of the text fonts with this one. Nice gold foil, beautiful for any scrapbook project. So there we go, a quick Joann's haul. If you have any questions, make sure you leave it down in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Before you head out, don't forget to subscribe. When you do, click the bell indicator. That way you'll know each and every time a new video is posted to this channel.